Sakis, Financial IQ, and from my book, which is a brand new book uh, from Jillian Michaels. Now, I've been following Jillian Michaels when I had my fitness studio, and she is just a phenomenal uh, woman, uh, achieved so much success in her own right. So I'm going to be sharing snippets from her book. So without further ado, welcome, friends. Welcome to the show. My name is Alka. My name is Rhea. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our show. show. So good morning, friends. And so today I'm going to be leading the conversation. And I'm going to be talking about from Jillian Michael's book, the first two chapters, and I just wanted to just recap because this book, although it's, you know, it, it does take a, a bit to digest, uh, not like Think and Grow Rich, not as deep as that, but I just wanted to just share the first two chapters that I talked about. Chapter one was I, I identifying your passions, and number two was say a little prayer. So I just want to talk about those two chapters. First of all, because these two chapters has truly led me to my success today and how that can really help you in your life, in your business. So I'm going to just share my screen and I'm just going to illustrate the points that I want to share with you so that, so that, you know, we always want to help one another to And Alka will be sharing her stick and figure so that whatever the lessons learned for today is, it's going to be in our minds. We'll have a better clarity on, on Alka's lesson for today. Absolutely. That's right. So that's what I'm going to illustrate, um, illustrate the points that I want to make so that you know, it hones in. And, and I find that I also, you know, whenever we illustrate points, it, you know, it sticks in so much better. So, okay, so chapter one, as I had mentioned, chapter one, I talked about, okay, so, oh, I guess I forgot the black ink. So, Okay, it would help if I switch the pen on. <laughs> okay, so chapter one, I talked about chapter one was identifying identifying your passions. And so when I talked about my passions and, you know, when I wanted to follow my passions and my passions, you know, is, is your passions pretty much is what What is that drive? What keeps you up late at night? And what, um, so what keeps you up late at night, burning that midnight oil? And what is your passion? What excites you when you wake up in the morning? So, um, so burning the midnight oil. Midnight oil and number two is what excites you in the morning. What excites you in the morning? Priya, is there a way to like make the screen go up? 
Maria. Is there a way yes. to that? Yes, scroll up and scroll down. Oh, I see. So just press on that, I guess, right? Yeah. You have to. Mm. Or try your finger to lift it up. Usually when That's I That's what do I'm doing. It, it's not with the Not finger. your pen with your finger to, lift, to, to scroll things. Not... Are you doing your finger? I am, Those yeah. Black marks. Okay. Yeah, that just leaves marks. Um, oh, sorry, friends. I'm just, uh, we'll just time the you know, technology. Um, so basically, the, what I just wanted to share with you was that, you know, to identify your passions, and there are two ways to identify our passions. It, when we're working late at night, we're working on our job, working on the business. And when you're working on your business, you're, you're burning the midnight oil. But passions also, like for me, I wanted to get into, um, I wanted to get into, you know, opening my business. And the first business that, that I had was my fitness studio. And that was a passion passion because that really helped me to empower other women and that was my passion to empower other women so that they can embrace themselves they don't have to be ashamed of their of their bodies right because I built it I built a culture that it was a non-judgmental zone and so that's what we need to um you know just be mindful that we are not always about, um, you know, we're not about, our passions is what we really stand for. And I just wanted to just bring that on the forefront and just maybe uh, just reiterate that point that when you identify your passions is who you are being and who you are becoming as in the process so who you are becoming and when I my passion was you know opening my fitness studio but my passion always then you know I evolved into dance and that dance that world of dance became you know became my world and you know as I had mentioned for the past eight years you know dancing was my life and that became who I was that was my identity who I became in the process and then so identifying your passions it is very important because we need to know we need to know that it's like a foundation because you build yourself up and you build upon um you know from your passions what are your passions what do you what who are you in the process who are you becoming in the process so i think that's very important and then if i could get the screen to like work um so i'm gonna talk about chapter two um chapter two was you know saying a little prayer so chapter two um, stems from chapter one. Chapter one was identifying your passions and chapter two is saying a little prayer. So it's having faith, having faith in your ability, having faith in who are you and what is your, what are you willing to do? Are you willing and able to do? Because if you're not willing, then nothing's going to be possible. So you've got to be willing, you've got to be able to really have your desires come into the forefront. So when I began to be on the quest, again, I'm going to go back to when I had my studio because that was my first business. Now, if you are endeavoring to getting into a business, you need to know, first of all, what do you know is the knowledge do you know anything about that business if you don't well you have to do your due diligence you have to know as to 
what you what's involved you need to you need to know the numbers you need to uh you need to know your numbers from every angle about that business because otherwise you will lose money so when i talk about saying a little prayer i am talking about faith and there are two kinds one is that i'm going to talk about the science behind saying a little prayer and the scientific side of it is all to do with your physiology your biochemistry now i know that first thing in the morning uh, really you might be thinking really do we need to talk about physiology and biochemistry but you know what in hindsight yes because it comes down to your moods so if you are saying you're, you know, when you wake up in the morning, how, what is your mood? What's your physiology like? What, you know, are you happy? Are you groggy? Do you take time to like really uh, take the, you know, take your time so that you wake up in the morning. And so you some people need time and that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, everyone is, every individual is different. So it's based on your moods, you know, are you, you know, are you angry? Um, are you are you fearful? Do you have doubts? Do you have doubts in your abilities? Do you have doubts within yourself? Whatever you endeavor to do, do you have doubt in yourself? Because, you know, when doubts creep in, so I shared this in the, uh, the Think and Grow Rich book by Napoleon Hill, chapter three was desire. And I talked about when you desire to have something or have someone and you know what are you willing to do and there was sac we go through sacrifice you have to sacrifice in order to get something we all have to sacrifice and me included i've done i've gone through so much sacrifice in my lifetime that i could write a book um i do have a book actually but we have to go through sacrifices in our lifetime in order to come out to on the other side so our desires you know all come down to who we are today and so basically the physiology and your biochemistry is all got to do with your what you want what are you what do you, what do you desire is it the business that you want? Is it the financial that you're looking for? Whether it's to make an 100K a month, whether it's a 50K a month, what is it that you desire? And whatever you desire, you need to be mindful that you have to be in alignment with what you're desiring or what you're wanting. Because if you are out of alignment, then you are disconnected so the physiology basically is to do with your moods and now your emotions as we you know i talked about also in the think and grow which book that your emotions your subconscious mind your conscious mind is your logical mind is your education mind your educated mind whereas your subconscious mind is your thinking your emotional feeling everything that we feel is in our subconscious mind so the same as you know with your physiology you know when if you're if you're angry if you're if you resent if you if you're if you're jealous then whatever you whatever you want you're not going to attract because you are out of alignment you are disconnected so this is all to do with the physiology and your physiology your makeup as to who you are has everything everything and i so heartily believe in this it has everything to what what you want out of life where are you heading today in your life and so that's why i wanted to go back to these two chapters because i just wanted to make sure that you know you are you are digesting at least chapter one and chapter two you've digested before i go ahead in her book because there's so much of the physiology and the biochemistry that julia michaels talks about because she herself has been in the fitness industry 
and she's the trainer. So she knows all about the psychology of, and the psychology and the behavior of individuals. So that's why, you know, for me also, uh, you know, your chemistry, your biochemistry, and Ria, obviously you, you would know this as well. Um, the biochemistry and your physiology has everything to what we want out of life. Ria, you want to share light? Yes, there's three points that I would uh, share with you from the notes that I took from your today's topic. And one, you talked about the midnight oil, burning the oil. Now, at some point in time, the oil will run out. So it's very important that even if the oil is run out, if you, it is truly your passion, you will do whatever it takes. You will look for another gasoline mm -hmm. station to find that oil. You will look to get another oil to fill your oil barrel, right? Your lamp. Yeah. Now, number two is when you ran out, when I ran out of oil, I turned back to God. I asked the Lord, Lord, thy will be done. I can know this struggle will make me stronger. So help me understand what I need to do to get through this storm. Number third point that I want to share, you talked about physiology and chemistry. What I talked yesterday about emotional intelligence ties mm -hmm. closely to physiology and chemistry. Why? Because it affects our emotions. Yeah. And like Warren Buffett said, if we cannot control our emotions. If I, Rhea, cannot control my emotions, I, Rhea, cannot control my money. And the most important intelligence, more important than the academic intelligence, more important than professional intelligence, is our emotional intelligence. So that's Absolutely. my take points. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing, Rhea. And definitely those, um, you know, your, your emotions, your emotions are your biggest um, influences in your life and what you're wanting. Because, um, you know, your emotions, your mood uh, is everything to what we are wanting. So, friends, I just want to leave uh, this here with you for, for, for today anyhow so that you have time to process the information and um, definitely you know there's just more to come because I just absolutely love her book and I love Jillian because um, you know I've been following her and when I had my studio there were so many uh, so many pointers that you know she shares in the book but for now friends we have come to the end of the show Thank you so much for always tuning in. Thank you so much for, you know, valuing, we value you because you have given up your time, your morning, 